everybody, this is Clarence from TwoItems.com with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sensi Simple Sensible Wireless Wi-Fi Thermostat. And you can use this thermostat um, <clears throat> and remotely connect to it. It's made by Emerson. You can use your iOS or your Android device to connect. Um, just go, just to let you know briefly, the reason why I picked this device was because I can monitor the, um, it was a good price on Amazon, so I brought it for one. And um, I have a property in another state where the, sometimes the humidity is very bad. So when I'm back here in Maryland, I like to be able to connect to my uh, other property and adjust the temperature to make sure that the humidity levels aren't very um, high in the unit. And just you know, make sure I can just adjust and keep an eye on it. And going forward, I'll be um, setting up more remote, con remote control devices inside of that unit. Uh, so... I'll try to make videos as I purchase each piece and we'll get a little home automation section going on the site. But anyway, let's get started with this unboxing and setup. I'm going to be setting this up in my home here in uh, Maryland. So I can actually show you remotely the, the device um, that I have connected later on. Uh, but this one will be set up here in a different state, so I'm actually, I actually have two of these. And this was, uh, I think it was $100 on Amazon. Right at a hundred dollars, hundred one dollars, whatever. But I have a link on the site, I mean, you guys can check it out. But um, this is the device; looks pretty good. These are your connections to the back. So. But um, this device here is is uh, is pretty nice because you can set up your schedules. Um, it also has alerting. The only bad thing about this is that the alerting you cannot configure the settings on your own though that there's basically preset at Sensi. So that's the only bad thing. So if you want to be able to configure all of your your alarms like with a high humidity or high temperature or what have you, you want to set custom limits, you probably don't want this model because you cannot do it with this model. So I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Um, they give you this card and on this card you have this number and this is your basically your your code. This and when you turn this device on and you go into configuration mode, this device becomes like a wireless router router in your home. Then you can use your phone to connect directly to it and you use this password in order to connect directly to it and configure your device. So that's why they say keep this card because you're gonna need this code to get inside of this machine this device to set it up and configure it and later on. Let's see what else we have in here. Nice card here. They give you some stickers so that you can label your, your wires. Um, they give you a couple screws for mounting. And this is the back plate. And the back plate is labeled properly very easily so you can you can connect the wires up to the respective ports. There you go. Let's get this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wire this up. Some of this video may or may be still videos of me just narrating just because of the fact that I don't have anyone here to hold the camera. So, let's get started. And you see currently I have a Honeywell. And what I'm going to be doing is taking, removing, I'm going to be removing this Honeywell and connecting up the new Sensi. So, let's take this off. And some people say you should turn off the power. But these, um... These devices have so little current. Um, I would suggest, hey, turn it off, but um, don't do what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect these cables and, and connect everything up. And you can see right here, I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you can, so you can see exactly what I have going on here. But I have I'm using R, and they mostly line up R for red, G for green, Y for yellow, and my white cable. And I, I have labels already on because I believe the labels came with the Honeywell, so I'm just going to be reusing those labels. And you can see that the screws will line up exactly what the screws already have. So I'm going to disconnect my, my, my uh, current device right now.
notice this model is pretty good because it has a little bubble here. So you can use, you can get that bubble right in the middle to make sure that it's nice and level. Now we'll go back to our diagram here. So this, and this red is going to go inside of, there's two, two connections, RC and RH, but we're going to put this inside of the top one because the R's are actually jumpered. So both RC and RH by default are connected together by a jumper in the back of the Sensi device. So this is RC and RH. Um, you can turn that jumper off. You can remove that jumper if you don't want those two to be connected, but in our case, we're gonna leave them connected. Um, but you can read further and go online, read a little bit more about if you have a different model and you can get um, information about your model. But like I said, this is pretty simple. I'm gonna connect it up the same way my other one was. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. And the yellow is gonna go right onto Y. As long as you know your alphabets, then you're gonna be okay. All we're doing is putting in these holes and tightening them down. Like I said, this was in, was inside of that book is a pretty nice um, manual. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see. And in this manual, it gives you information about how to configure your device. And I'll just go a little slow, so if you guys need to take a look at this before you purchase it, uh, maybe you can maybe you can do so. But it actually runs down, like for example, for conventional systems, it lists your old thermostat settings, and then you have what those settings will correlate to on the Sensi thermostat. And then you, you can actually go into this thing and get very detailed at an advanced level and reconfigure this device for like outdoor equipment, indoor equipment, change to different gas modes with single stage, two stage, single stage. I, I didn't have to do any of this. I don't wanna scare anybody on mine in, in Florida and so I'm not gonna do anything on get into this um, really in detail on this model because the defaults will it's going to be good enough for most people, but if you have a very, I guess, um, you know, sensitive unit, where you need to make those changes. This this model will allow you to do it. Um, but here we go. This you have a nice manual as well. So now what you have here is a little connector here. You remove this. Then make sure that the battery is. You should be able to connect it. Kind of goes on at an angle and connects. That's pretty much it. We have this set up and configured. Now we just have to configure it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. First, now you're gonna now that everything's up and it's running, it's on the wall, it's positioned straight. There's a button on the top that I did not know until just now, even. So I set up the other one in the other state. You hit that button and that makes the light actually come on. But what we're gonna do is, you're gonna go online, whether you have an iPhone or you have a um, Android like me, and you're gonna download the Sensi app. Just go into the app store, search for S-E-N-S-I, and you'll find this app. The first time you run it, it's gonna come up and it's gonna ask you to register. For me, I already have it installed, so it's gonna pop up and show my other unit. Um, but we're gonna go down and walk through the same menu you, you guys would get. So I'm gonna to go to my account and install thermostat. And you're gonna get something like this screen, okay? Um, and then what you typically would do if you, I, I've walked through everything um, because I already know how to install it. But if you do not know how to install it, this app will guide you. So there's an install new thermostat option. You hit this guy and it walks you through. 
what I just did already. Turn off the power, screenshots. You know, do not remove your wires yet. Label your wires. Take a photo of your wires before you disconnect. Um, then you can come down to this screen. This screen has all those, the labels that you, um, all those letters that you have on your wires. So for me, remember I had R, W, Y, G, and it pops up with green and says, hey, you have selected a valid configuration. And then you can hit the continue. And then you select whether or not you have gas or electric um, furnace. I have gas and it's still green. Then it says you're about to label the wires. This can be tricky. And then it tells you what's tricky. Remember I said something about the RH. It's going to go to the single R on this unit. I mean, in my old one, it was just R, but it's going to be plugged into the RH on this unit. Um, and then you just remove one wire at a time, and it tells you how to reconnect it. it tells you how to disconnect the wires, remove the base. Unscrew the wires. It's walking you through every single step. This is to shows you um, a diagram of where the wires went. This is exactly what I've already done. Push the faceplate on. Then we're gonna. Then it says to configure it. Press the menu button, and that's what we're gonna do here. Press the menu button. Right. Then it's gonna say press connect. There's a button here that says connect. It's hard to see on my camera, but it's, I'm gonna just direct you. Right. Then it's gonna. Then I'm gonna have to find the security card, which I already have that black card with the number, and I'm gonna tap here to find the Sensi unit. It should show up. Sensi. It's gonna show up as like a wireless access point here. Oh gosh, it's kind of hard to to, to see this, but. I kind of can see it here a little bit. It's sensey here. So I'm going to select it. Show password. And then I'm going to type in the password that's on the card. Remember the, the black card. I'm going to type in this password here. And my phone should connect to that wireless access point, which would be my Sensi device. This is connecting. Boom. Now I got a blue. It's connected. So I'm going to hit the back button. Now this is the Sensi app is all automatically running and it's going to ask me what do I want my Sensi wireless I mean what do I want my wireless thermostat to connect to? And I'm going to press my Wi-Fi address. So I'll hit that and it's going to ask me for the password. So I'm going to type in the password for my home access point, my home router. In the basement, I'm going to type that in. Actually sending that information install all. install is complete turn on the power then you're supposed to go downstairs and turn on the power um, which i was a bad boy and i didn't turn off my power so it's already on um, and then you're supposed to look into the corner and see what you have and what i have in the corner up here is an x so it's giving you an option it says if you see an x do this it means that the router could not connect to my this is the wireless thermostat could not connect to my Wi-Fi router downstairs. So I'm going to have to redo this again. Okay, once everything connects, you're going to get this screen. It's going to say, name your thermostat. And I can put on my name. I'm going to put in home. USA and you type in the zip code and it's going to automatically pipe in, type in the um, standard uh, Eastern, ta uh, Eastern time zones and then continue on with the wizard, hit next and it says your thermostat registered successfully, your thermostat is now registered to your account, start using Sensi and that's pretty much it, so now when I go inside of my account I should see both. Now I can see my my thermostat here and I can go down I can raise the temperature up here and say hey I want this guy to turn on and go to 76. Let's test it out. And it's telling me I heard it just click. Let's see. 
See if the heat cuts on. Yeah, and it's good because it changes to let you know what you, what mode you're in. So it's right now it's in heat mode, but for my the property, I change to a different thermostat. If I go to Florida, it's blue because the air it's in it's not in the air conditioner mode, but typically it would be in air conditioner mode, and that's why the screen would be this a bluish color. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there's options and everything on this on this machine that I'll go through real quick. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. And if you have any questions, hit me up, let me know, and um, I'll be sure to try to answer them for you.